Okay, I've got some really good news. Uh, this uh, little thing that I built here worked out real well. I put a little uh, garden light solar cell on it. And uh, this is a type of uh, rechargeable cell. It's not, uh, it's not a capacitor. And it's not an electrolytic capacitor. It's some sort of rechargeable cell. And uh, you probably see that running around there. And let me show you the voltage on this. I can. Really hard to do this with one hand. Okay, it looks like 1.42 and dropping. Let me stop the rotor. So I can do this. Show you the voltage again on it here. 1.39 and holding and uh, yesterday when I was fiddling with this this was dropping off but now I've got this formed up somehow and it's it's holding the voltage and this is some sort of a um, a cell uh, I'm not calling it a super capacitor it's just a rechargeable cell using um, Epsom salts and tap water as the electrolyte the uh, the separator is a common kitchen paper towel. The um, solar cell is out of a garden light. And um, it's what I used to just charge this up. It didn't take very long. Let me show you the voltage again on it. Dropped off a little bit. Let me start it up here. Right, this, this is going to drop off as it runs. Put that backwards, actually. Um, you can form this up both ways, but I'm pretty darn sure if you keep uh, forming it in one direction, it'll take on a uh, tendency toward that direction. And like I say, the addition of this uh, solar garden light solar cell allowed this to be slow charged uh, and really form up nicely. And uh, this, this, like I say, is a, a real winner as far as I'm concerned. And that's pretty neat, folks. I, I got a big bang out of building that using that uh, solar garden light. Okay, let's go back out. I'll show this charging up one more time. I'll show you the voltage on it here. Okay, now we're down to about three quarters of a volt. I'll take this outside running. Let's set this on my chair. Now I'll take it back inside. I'll take a look at the voltage in here from that little bit of charging that we did. It's back up to about a volt and a half under load. Dropping off. Anyway, that was a success, folks. and. Um, if you didn't uh, see the last video, this is what this is. This is a uh, couple of uh, non-magnetic stainless steel condiment cups with uh, that is the electrolyte and uh, the paper towel, just one layer, very thin as a separator. And then I've got uh, a magnet in here and a magnet under here and the board to hold this tightly together and that formed up the um, situation I wanted which was a tight seal between the uh, layers of the uh, plates of the, the battery and uh, you might call this a supercapacitor but I don't think so I think this is just a type of uh, rechargeable cell 
and uh, using uh, that chemistry. The uh, stainless steel is, uh, I imagine, high nickel, high chromium content because it's not magnetic. Um, and then, like I say, the chemistry between the MgSO4 water and the metals in those uh, cups makes this this rechargeable cell. Let's take a look at the voltage again one last time. Oops, backwards. Okay, now we're down to uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 volts. Let me stop this, see if I get that rebound effect again. I thought that was very interesting when I showed that yesterday. So let's see what happens today. Yeah, see it bounce back up again? With the rotor stopped. Very interesting. And of course, this will this will go again if I just tap it. Off it goes again. Um, the pulse motor is uh, eight coils of 30 gauge wire in series, and it's north south north south north south. The rotor itself is all north facing neos, and uh, it just sits on a needle. This is basically laser sabers easy spin is what that is. It's just my version of it. And then uh, my uh, bearing is a little bit different than his. Very hard to put it back on, actually. There it goes. Let's see what the voltage is one last time. Okay, now I'm down to uh, about half a volt, and it's still running. This will run on down to uh, a little under 200 millivolts. Anyway, that's a success story there, folks. I, I recommend people take a look at this chemistry that's going on between the uh, non-magnetic stainless steel and that electrolyte with a thin insulator between the two and then the um, thing held together tightly. Thanks for watching.